Some of the most powerful memories I have as a gamer are of moments playing video games in split screen with my brother, with a friend, or with my girlfriend. To be honest, it has been disheartening to see so few games in recent years featuring this way of playing games. It is especially rare for role-playing games. Typically, RPGs are divided between solo experiences and MMOs, with very little to be found in between. Not everyone wants to be deeply involved in persistent world with thousands of other players, but it doesn't mean they wouldn't want to drop in and out of a game with a friend, whether it's in local co-op or online. When joining someone else's game, you bring your character from one of your own save files or create a new one, and all the items you collected and all the skills you learn will be saved. While playing together, you can go as far as you want as long as you stay within the same region meaning you could go hunt for a deer while your friend sets up camp a kilometer away. However, be careful if you do. Since the game's difficulty is adjusted for two players, this means you are at a disadvantage while separated. But even with the added difficulty, the help from a friend is certainly appreciated. After all, it is easier to shoot arrows at a target if it's busy trying to eat your friend rather than you. If you are severely hurt, your partner can get you back up on your feet but you will need rest to fully recuperate. While you rest, your friend could spend time guarding while you sleep, making the process safer and faster. Some interactions between players are more unique to our game. For instance, a character who hasn't learned how to create a wind sigil could use the sigil cast by a partner, effectively doing collaborative spell casting. In a dark cave, if both players stick together, only one of them would need a light source liberating the hand of a player to hold something else than a torch or a lantern. While you need to share the loot, you can also share the burden. Maybe one of you will bring the cooking pot while the other brings the alchemy set. Or maybe you let your partner use a heavier backpack and manage most of the inventory while you stick to a smaller bag to stay nimble since you stick to the middle of the fight. It is not necessary to play outward in multiplayer. You can play solo from start to finish, and we know that's how many players will want to experience it. However, if, like me, you've longed for a game like this to be playable in co-op, I think you'll want to give it a spin. 